Well, okay. What we're going to demonstrate this morning is this diffusionary plate and one without it, both of the units are set on the same amount of air volume. And what we discovered is this diffusion plate it makes very little bit of difference than one that doesn't have it. So what we're going to do, we're going to come up with a diffusionary plate, hopefully, that's going to even the airflow out more. But we want to demonstrate just how much difference, what little difference there is between the two units. the diffusion plate on it. On the first video we showed y'all, we showed with the demonstration running this up through there, that right here with the diffusionary plate in place, it really didn't make any difference with, without it. We showed one without anything, without these plates in here, and they're both the same, and so the diffusionary plate didn't help anything. So what we've done, we put in two different plates on the ends instead of in the middle. This one had bigger holes in it, because we want more airflow up on the up on the upper end, and down there where we're going to try to catch a finer go, we have smaller holes. So what we try to do is get kind of an even airflow across there. So what we're going to try to demonstrate is to kind of have a, a even airflow with the diffusionary place on the end instead of in the middle. expanded metal and we put held screen over that and there's two layers of nylon mesh underneath these places right here and then this right here is polyester light polyester and this is heavy polyester for where we're trying to catch the fine gold on this tray it's a special design tray and on the back right here we have a lip that raises it up so when the or comes over, it has a chance to fall, all the heavy stuff has a chance to fall out. And underneath here, on each one of these, there's a lip that sticks out for dead air space. Catch all your gold down in this small area right here. And then this screen, thanks to Alan's gold mining, he let us use this. And on this screen, pick it up, and this is to get all refined gold. Same things down through all of these. 
but we just used his ID of the screen, and we appreciate it very much. This is the master switch that shuts all this side down. This side right here, it turns the vibrator on on the back. If, if it's slow on moving, it vibrates the, everything to cause the ore to flow smoothly. And this is, has on and off on each one, plus you can adjust each one of these. This goes to the blowers. There's five on this side for these blowers, and you can just adjust the speed to any speed you want. And but they go to the blowers. Then we go to the other side. We have the same thing. We have the master switch, and we have the all the controllers on and off. Whatever speed you want the blowers to be, you can adjust them high, low, medium, whatever is necessary to get your best gold recovery. As you can see, it's sitting on jack stands. So you can load that box up with all the ore you want to load up. You don't have to worry about overloading your springs on your axles. And these axles have brakes. They're tandem axles. They're heavy-duty axles. But this whole unit only weighs 4,500 pounds. Empty. Let me go back over here. It folds up. This is steel plated. So when you run the backhoe up in here to pick up all the excess the door, the ore that fell off, you don't have to worry about, I don't know, this is plywood, three quarter inch plywood, and it's steel plated out here. So you run the back up here, you can pick your dirt up, and you can move your dirt wherever you want to put it. Back here in the back, I won't be able to open the door up. Mm -hmm. Now this generator, it will run all these boxes. It will run the vibrating system to the box, and it will work the dry with the classifier, the Grizzly. It will work all of them at the same time, plus you'd have probably room to add a, two or three lights if you want to work at night time. Or if you want to, instead of a 13,000, you can go to a 14,000, and you could run a camper, night lights. You could run everything with one generator. And it has the Honda motor on it, which is an excellent motor and it really starts good and runs great. Here we have the electric jack. This electric jack will let everything down. You can get your jack stands up and down with this electric jack, but we like using the backhoe because it's so much faster and easier than this electric jack. But we can put the backhoe under here as you will see a little bit later. Put it under here to raise it up, let her jack stand down and put her bolts through and get it up on the jack stands. And right here we have this, this lever right here. It's adjustable. You can adjust it to whatever, whatever flow of ore you want to go out. And, but I'm not going to lower it up and down now because we're in the shop and, and we have ore in there and it would come falling out. But this is adjustable to whatever ore flow you need to come out across the boxes. Also up here, these are, if you have a problem with any of them, you can undo it, let it stay closed, and you can keep running with the other boxes. So if you have a problem with one of them or whatever, you don't have to shut the whole unit down just because you have a problem. And over here, we have a system. This comes, takes all of our exhaust coming out of the motor, it runs it down, it runs the exhaust to each one of these blowers right here. So each one has heated air going to it before it goes to the boxes. If anybody wants a collector box not that tall, it's real easy for us to adjust that down four inches, six inches, eight inches, and you'd still have a world of room to collect a lot of material in there. But this can be lowered for people that might not have a backhoe to reach that high. So we can lower that down. Another feature that we can be added on there is a roll up shade. Like if you were to have a shade that would fold out here like that and create a shade during the summer time, it got done and roll the shade back up if you wanted to. That's just another added feature that we could add on to this piece of equipment. This tongue, you can actually unbolt it. You can take it off, slip it right out. You can put this on underneath and you can run this thing like a gooseneck. Like the, the ball that's on the back of this trailer, you can put 
put that on there, and you can shorten it all down if you think it's necessary. But we got it shortened down now to where this hooked onto that ball, and that pickup is exactly 65 feet. But if you wanted to write like a neck, this is removable. You can take that, turn it upside down, put a pin in it, go up there and set it over the ball, and you've got a gooseneck. What we want to demonstrate on this, we have this electric motor come down here and we have this vibrating system which has these plates on there and these plates are covered with the hail screen so when the ore hits it, it'll help pulverize it even more. But it's all remotely controlled. One push of the button. And it's vibrating and pulverizing. And around here, and, uh, and on where the box is, it's plated on those. It's got a heavy half inch plate in the bottom of it. Keep picking up rocks whenever you're getting dirt. And uh, it's all boxed in. And around here, we have several layers of steel under here. We have sucker rods and we have another layer of expanded metal. And then here we have three eighths mesh here on this side right here to separate it all out. Okay, and here we have the vibrating system. It's a motor hooked up, a shaft going through there that vibrates everything. Just in case the ore don't fall good. But more than likely the ore is going to fall good if it's dry like we, like we like it. Should never have to even use that. It's there just in case that you need to use it. And here we have an extra plug run cards to wherever to the grizzly and also to a vacuum in reality a man would really want a little bigger vacuum than that so he could vacuum a little bit faster but this is just for demonstration purposes only and these doors open up and this let everything suck through so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to pick it up off the trailer and we're going to lower a jack stand down to the ground so that it's off the ground so when we load it up it don't matter how much weight we put on there we're not putting any weight on our axles.